Check, Mike. Check. What's up? This your boy, Super Duper. We in Pro Sound Studios. And today we here with um, Day Service. Day Service ENT. What's up, fellas? What's up, What's man? Going on? How y'all? What's, What's good? How you doing? Y'all want to start off with uh, everybody introduce themselves? Yeah, man. My name is Stan uh, at the Life of Stavo on IG. Say Stavo on Twitter. My name is Quan. Um, Q Chiz on Instagram. Q Chiz on um, Twitter. Shaquan Chiz on Facebook. Get with me. Jalen. It's just two underscores J Fitz on Instagram and Twitter. Lance, uh, Instagram and Twitter is the same. Bounce back. That's uh, underscore bounce B V C K. Word, 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 man. We we fresh off a of quarantine, man. We in Pennsylvania. Yeah, you know I'm saying Harrisburg to be exact. Pro sale motherfucking studio. You feel me? We got the new youngest. These the new young entrepreneurs, man. These, these the niggas that setting it off right now. Appreciate they got the parties and they. Whoop. I just want to ask y'all this question because y'all know I used to do parties and shit, man. And I looked up, man. I said, I always wanted to do a day party, day party, day party. I see y'all little niggas pop out with the day party. Like, who idea was that? Uh, it was definitely like a joint type situation, but I think kind of like I popped it off. We was just kind of in a group chat just popping shit. Like, you feel me? It ain't really nothing going on in the city. Uh, we kind of be comparing it to like when we go out of town and uh, you feel me? It's a lot of day party vibes and they kind of challenged me in a group chat. Like, all right, well, let's do something then. And from there, man, it just kind of took off. Took so, off. so the first part. Tell, tell me about the first, the first part. Like, how, who, who idea was it? How y'all planned it out? Get the location? Cause that's usually like the that's the problem. Yeah, like, yeah. you try to find a, a a place to throw an event, especially around here. You knew, yeah. Yeah. young, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who that's gonna give you? Who, who gonna give you the shot? Yeah. So how how y'all how y'all get that taken? How y'all get that going? See, that was a thing though. Like. Even how we came about, like, he missed it a little bit of it. Like, he, it was a funny scenario. He was living in um, Albany at the time. We, I slid down on him. And pretty much we was like, yo, we want to throw something. I like, have something lit for this. Like, not even for the city. It was pretty much, like, for everybody. Like, right. we was pretty much trying to come, come up with something for everybody to have fun. Right. That was the whole thing. In the beginning, it was like, yo, we trying to just have something. Fun like when we was in Canada, we went to a day party, went to LeBron's, yeah. LeBron's day yeah, party. Was, yeah, in Canada, was it was lit. Pool it was lit. Everything. It was a pool day party. It Facts. was lit. Thanks. So we was like, yo, something like that. We we ain't had we don't we don't got the venue yet in Harrisburg. Right. We was like, yo, we, we gotta have something on that in the, in, the, in the mode of those lines. So when we came up. We was just thinking about different spots. We was like, well, we gotta get outside though. That's pretty much what we were saying. We gotta get outside. You can go ahead. And uh, from there, I think it kind of popped off that Crawl Daddies had like a rooftop. Right. So we was like, all right, let's reach out to Crawl Daddies. Obviously, they black owned too. Okay. So um, that was a, a conversation. You know, I mean, it was cool. Obviously, with us being young and us being, you feel me, active and us kind of breaking off what we want to do, they kind of was hesitant a little bit, but sure. ended up rocking with us. And um, crazy story, man. Like we ran them out of liquor twice. Like I'm talking, like they run into the liquor store trying to replenish. Like yo, we ain't know it's gonna be like that. Yeah. Like long behold, like we we up there, like we doing what we doing, but like it was just crazy coming about it. Definitely crazy coming about. Yeah, it. sure, for sure. So uh, how did y'all who who put together the promotions? Who handled like the online promotions and? So the uh, first party it was mainly Jay. So Jay kind of handled it for there, and then like he kind of set the blueprint. And from there, I've been kind of running like the IG shit like that. And as far as like the posts and everything, like we kind of come up with that as a collective. Like we'll just throw stuff in a group chat, like Yo, let's yeah. do it. And kind of like how we've been separating ourselves is kind of promoting being funny, like getting people interactive, like little memes, little videos, yeah. this stuff where people can like laugh and ah share. Oh, this is kind of cool, this and that. So kind of just making people like we kind of like the neighborhood cousins, like we didn't For sure. the neighborhood cousins is on some funny <laughs> cool shit. You feel right. me? And people kind of gravitated towards that. So that's kind of was our basis for the promotion for real. Okay, so what did you guys all go to school together, or how did y'all link up? And yeah, we definitely um, well, like I know for sure, Jay, Stan, like we all went to middle school, same middle school, and then Chiz, we linked up as far as in high school. Yeah, and from then on, like because me and Jay are separate ages as far. Yeah. Okay. But we kind of just all, you know what I mean? Stay loyal, stay down, stayed around each other. See, so just kind of bubble, you know, authentic. All like, local right? Harrisburg? For sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. Okay. All Harrisburg mm -hmm. products. Harrisburg right. products for sure. Or, okay, so um, what was the last party that y'all did? Oh, shit. Hmm. Never happened. <laughs> 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 ah. so, ah. so tell three. me about that. Part three, man. That was, that was something special, man. Explosive. I'm talking like. Making the the venue go to capacity, like lines out to capacity. the streets, like it was that was crazy, man. Shout out to the city coming out, showing us love sure. like that for that. Line one. was down around the corner. That was something yeah, special. Sir. That was definitely something special. Like regardless of what what transpired, man, that was something special. That was a beautiful event. Yeah, yeah. I definitely think so. I mean, being that for one, that it was a day party, yeah. 
So that's yeah. already like you beating the odds when you yeah. come in with that right there yeah. for this city because, you know what I'm saying, that's not really being done. And it's yeah. crazy because the spin to it was kind of like, all right, people could use it as a pregame. That was kind of what we was thinking. Like right. people love nightlife here. Like, that's the thing here, nightlife. So people that's going to come, it's going to be a selective few people because everybody don't know what a day party is. Yeah. People going to come out and use it as a pregame. That's kind of what it was, the first party. The second party, <laughs> the name grew a little bit. More people came out. But by the third party, that shit, like, people was drinking to not make it home. Like, it was Damn. a different vibe out there. It, it was like, vibe. what's up? We, this, yeah, this, yeah, this, yeah. This, this, this the it for the night. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, yeah, it's been shot out part two, too, man. We we sold them out of liquor, man. They ran yeah. out of Hennessy. They ran out of, like, Duce out that Especially drink. Especially rock out there. By so 7, it was crazy. 30, they were so selling. What, what's some of the issues y'all y'all come up with? Like, when you was like, tell me, tell me your problem. Like, um... I would say, I mean, it's it's really nothing major, but us being from Harrisburg, right? The mostly people from Harrisburg really haven't been to these other major cities, right? So, so really, the biggest problem I would think for us really is just getting people to understand the vision, right? Getting people to be patient, getting people to understand some of the things we're doing that's unconventional to the regular Harrisburg nightlife. Um, and getting people to trust us, but once we get that, um, and this and this happening slowly but surely, I think everything else is really a breeze. Yeah, I would say that, and and then the venue selection. Yeah, like that's we all crazy. like, that's the tough you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, very like I live in Philly, so like, honestly, we like you know for for the future, we got plans of going out of town, right? Places like Philly is really like whatever we want to pick from. You know what I'm saying? Like compared to compared to Harrisburg, where it's like we really got to plan it out. We got to go talk to an owner that really don't really know what we trying to do. Right, What's yeah. going to make a lot of money and make it the right way. Right. So that's that's really the two biggest issues. But we working on it. Yeah. And, um, I th- you know, I think it's, it's going to grow because I think us doing the parties might open some of these owners' eyes up yeah. um, into different things they can do and different things they can open as well. So yeah. Yeah, We can talk about that a little bit because I think, like, like I said, I started out being a party promoter here too, like just along with as well the studios. Right. It. But like I was like still, said, I gotta get my name out there, so I was using party. So I'm bringing different artists and shit like that. And like I know a lot of other promoters here locally do, it. and I feel like the biggest issue that they would have a lot would be with the owners. Mm-hmm. Like you bringing in all these people yeah. to fill them up, and then they like they don't really want to break bread at all. Yeah. Yeah, so that yeah. that's a whole separate conversation. Like and like, so we negotiating on that tip. So I kind of take you through the story one, two, and three. So part one, we knew we we wet behind the ears. We really don't know much, right. and we don't really got no old heads to go to in this. So we just like fuck right. it. We we winging it from what we think is right. Mm-hmm. So obviously the first part of the week, call a spade a spade. We get jerked on what we like. Come with, like hindsight twenty twenty, we kind of sure. get jerked on what we thought we should get. Yeah. Long, regardless of that, you feel me? They worked with us. They gave us a space. We're grateful for that. So shout out to them. But then you come to part two, where it's like, all right, we go from this local rooftop, this local business, to us actually at a club venue. Mm-hmm. So now we're working with a club owner who already been around the block a couple times and know what he's dealing with. But he never did a day party. He in Harrisburg. He's skeptical about it. Very skeptical. He, he ended up rocking with us. He give us a chance. Be, I mean, they, 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 we showing videos of what we got going on. He give us a chance. Boom, second party come around, get jerked a little bit again. But again, it's growing pains. We don't know no better. We just, and, and, and that's another thing too. It's not a money grab for us. So the money we know going to come. So we like, fuck it. Like, whatever we get, we get. Like, we cool. Whatever we break down at the end of the night. But you feel me? Lo and behold, we could have been getting better deals on shit, this and that. We ain't really know no better. Part three come around, we kind of got some shit with us this time. Like, we got like, yo, we two successful parties in. We can bring this. You know what we do. Yeah. Boom. So the numbers sound a little better, but still, we not where we want to be at. But it's definitely right. like it's just growing pains. We just learning. So y'all working with the yeah. y'all is trying to better the contracts on what's sure. the situation? Because I, sure. d- I definitely want to add on to that though, because he spoke on something. I think even with the small sample size so far and the success we did have so far, I think because we when we started this whole thing, we it was never about money for us, and so you know I think. Putting that in the back burner just helped, you know, build it even quicker than where it's at now. Yeah. So I think, you know, having that principle just elevated the whole situation. Because, you know, some people. What kind of expenses do you have as, like, far as being a party promoter? 
DJs, um, venues, venues. Uh, the when you go back uh, to the rooftop, yo, that, every piece of furniture you seen up there, we rented. Yeah, yeah, so we had to bring it. So had to set before, it up. I was say if you ever been up there on a the regular, that's just a, a rooftop. That's this space. Mm-hmm. So right. we rented tents, we rented tables, we rented all types of stuff to kind of make it look sexy, look appealing. Right. So you run into them type of expenses, and then outside of that, you got to pay security. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's <laughs> what y'all think. <laughs> what's, what's, what's y'all takes on, on security? Shit, get somebody you trust. Uh, Shit, yeah, I'll tell and, you that and much. make sure all the security is your security. Venue security may not be, you feel me, the answer every time. Yeah. Get somebody you trust, you feel me? You got to be able to yeah, Venue security, only go, they, they put that shirt on and they getting paid by that venue regardless. Mm-hmm. So they don't really give a fuck about what's going on inside. They don't care about who coming inside. So get somebody that, that, that you can so rock with. Yeah, so they, you think that security let niggas down? My thing, it's here, possible. here's my sure. thing with security, because sure. I didn't, I didn't did a lot of events where, like, I had to deal with security at a multiple different places like outside of day service my thing is them knowing who's in charge some venues is shaky with who's in charge and who's not right the owner's the owner i give you that but the owner's not throwing our situation the owner's not tied to our name so i think working with a venue that understands that and understands that some things security need to come to us about and we need to go to security about and make sure they know we in charge as well during that that time frame. Yeah. I think that's the biggest thing with security um, that people should understand when they throw throwing events and things is making sure security knows who's in charge and what they yeah, need to man. do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely, that's, definitely. Yeah, that's we we was running into them too. I started like always brought mm-hmm. a couple security guards of my own. Yeah, it's to the point now every that, time yeah. just yeah. to make sure like that like you street because I know yeah. I was promoting and shit like. It's a job for real, like you know what I'm saying, like everybody. <laughs> yeah, like you think all your homies about to show up. You think these niggas about to come and help? Yeah. All these niggas is coming to party. Yeah. Right. Yeah, at fun. first, I was like hiring a lot of my homies right. and shit, yeah. different niggas. I'm putting them on like at security, yeah. and you feel me? Like I'm a militant boy when it comes yeah. to getting money. You yeah. feel yeah. me? Yeah. Like I'm on the clock. I'm on the clock. Yeah. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Yeah. So I'm walking through and shit. I see the niggas. They dancing and shit. They yeah, with a so security uh, shirt on and shit. Like that was security guard hit the weed. And shit. Yeah. So it's like, damn. Like you, I pay you to do this shit now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I start getting like just a couple solid. You know what I'm saying? Security like to hold me down. Like you feel what I'm saying? And then too with the owners, like it seems like. Um, it be seeming like, man, I'm prior. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? But, like, contract. Yeah. yeah. You feel me? Like, they be playing like they don't want that business and all that. But they want that business because it's about to be lit for one night and they yeah. can't really get that. They're going to cash sure. out. After you feel me? People in and they going to cash out. For your one night, they try to hit you with a whole month of expenses. Yeah. After, <laughs> definitely after yeah, that. Like, yeah. Last part I did I came Got this shit lit I was gone They never yeah. seen me again It was everybody else shit that I yeah. did he go back I was like I seen what he yeah. got at the bar You know what I'm saying I knew what I spent What I got I looked them shit They match I looked I said I'm gone yeah. I about to say so. You know what I'm saying You gotta get super duper definitely, twice yeah. <laughs> well, say, Definitely that second once event you see them splits, uh, go, Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. No. After that All that skepticism Went straight out the window After that second yeah. event yeah. But you definitely Gotta be hungry though Like you said You getting better Every time it's about you know what I mean? Be aware of that shit. Yeah, See, sure. and that's a, and that's a thing too. Um, one thing about me, I'm not scared to reach out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like when it came to the figuring out like the business side, because after the first one, we kind of understood. We found out we got jerked by me going and hollering at the old, older G's who already been doing this, and they was like, "Oh, oh, little cousin, it was supposed to be like that." Yeah. And I, I went back to them like, "Yo, we we kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it wasn't where it was supposed to be." So it was like after that, I've been on my game with it. Like, mm-hmm. all right, well. He said this, so I'm gonna go about it this way. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because if it got to the point where I was going out so to, so so much to the point where they was already reaching out like, "Yo, y'all got this in chat? Like, y'all y'all running it? But yo, you got this in chat? You got this in order?" I was like, "All right, yeah. cool." And I always came back to the team with it. Right. That's lit. Hey, so um, you said the last party didn't happen. Yeah, no, that's it's just a running joke. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we say that it happened. Yeah. Yeah. It happened. No, there's this that that right there, man. That. I'm gonna tell you, and like you, it's funny you said that. How you know what I mean? You're not there to have fun because you're working, right? So after the fact, you know, people run up to us all the time. Know what I mean, you notice all the people, and did you see this? And did you see that? You don't, don't, you don't, don't even see like we don't even vision. tunnel vision because we in the mix. Know what I mean, trying to do this, trying to do that, making sure people straight here. Know what I mean, but that 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 third party, no, it happened. 
It's nah. on, like this proof it happened. Yeah, I was about to say, that's what it, it was. It went up. Too. Like, yeah. Sure. When, when you said people coming to you or commenting like yo it was lit it was popping you really don't peep that because you work in it you got tunnel vision like you tapped mm -hmm. in like you on your p's and q's and it wasn't until like the video came out afterwards that we was like yo yeah. that's it was what it lit. was that's it what was it was like, yo, elbow that's crazy yeah that's crazy yeah, after the first one this was in here after yeah. the, our first joint everybody's come to me like yeah yeah y'all nigga do that yo do that do that so it's like i'm like all right shit and that's i was like shit let's slide yeah you know what i'm saying shout out to you for popping out too oh yeah shout out we appreciate that that's that's what happened when you do your thing though you feel me like when you do your thing nigga gonna pop out you yeah. feel me and just that's what it is like so it's like me seeing y'all do y'all thing that shit is like yeah like you know what i'm saying i'm one of y'all niggas supporters you feel me like just because that. it's like sure. even if the business ain't no matter what it's the it's still an act of doing yeah once it's done now it's like shit i'll make the next one it's, you always out doing yourself that, you know what i'm saying and just to keep speaking on that third party i mean not to dive too deep into the situation but you know, even after that hall went down, mm. you know, there was still a demand for us to like, okay, people was expecting us to come do something in January, February, you know, all these holidays and things like that. And we literally all, you know, made a decision, yeah. you know, to, to stay down and like really take a break because certain events that transpired is what we really was trying to stay away from. Right. Now, I mean, we didn't want to bring that type of aura to the city because there's been so many events, not even... The promoters fought, you know, but it's just been so many things that transpired at these popping events that have been out of control, and they create that narrative, and that's, that's the security. Yeah, yeah. and that's one thing. Y'all did really your were job upset as about. promoters, right? Yeah. Right. right. Y'all got the people there, mm -hmm. and the security is not really the job of the promoters. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying a lot of people don't know that. So, like, whenever yeah. the party, oh, this happened, they party, but like, unless yeah, that was their responsibility. You get what I'm saying? It ain't really your responsibility. So shit, we we gonna keep turning the fuck up, whatever. Like it's day service. The the legit venues for real, for real. They don't even allow you sometimes to bring your own security because they already on point, and you know it because you know they track record. So that yeah. that's re that's really what it's about. That's Finding true. the venues um, locally in the central PA PA area that share our same interests and really yeah. about it like we is as, right. as far as on the business side. Yeah, that's that's yeah, what it is. See, and and, and, and and what. He was saying like we wasn't going into that that direction. We really was pushing for towards women yeah. and dancing and having fun. Yeah. Like really trying to get the city back on that lane, like yeah. where we really coming out for the chicks. We ain't coming out for no weird energy. Oh, right. We ain't coming out for that. We coming out for the chicks, get lit, and have fun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Going back to your family. Real but for real, for real, really, we was really pushing towards women. Mm -hmm. And that was our that, honestly for me, for all of us, I, I can say. Chicks bring once the, you see a bunch of chicks posting. Yeah, Everybody's gonna follow, even if a dude don't post, repost it or something. He gonna follow. He on board with yeah. everything. Like that's right. one thing we got. We, we kept in mind. Like we definitely target women and mm -hmm. dudes. Paid attention to that ASAP. It was like it was so many chicks at the first one. Yeah, sure. I gotta go to the next one. The right. next one it was even bigger, and the next right. one was even bigger. Right. Yeah, yeah, beautiful sure. queen. Shout out to the woman. Especially it's that right. girl out there that you following on the gram that you want to get at. She yeah. posts that day service. She coming to day service. She yeah. coming to day service. Such as, and you such as such, day service. she was for sure yeah. she at day was service. For sure at day service. <laughs> yeah, so, um, your heads, cousin. for sure. <laughs> How did the COVID nineteen like affect <laughs> basically uh, the business and what y'all had going? Yeah, so, I um, I yeah, I'll speak on that first. Um, it affected us a lot as as it did everybody. Um, you know, we had we had an event set. That was already started promotion before COVID hit. Before COVID really hit as far as um things being shut down. Mm -hmm. So now you gotta deal with and we had ticket outlets at multiple locations. So now you through multiple like different companies. So now you gotta deal with this company's policy on returns or what their situation is, this company. So for us, I mean it's really a lot of moving parts with it. So really, um, you know, we had to cancel our, uh, or we had to postpone for right now our Future versus Hendrix party, which was supposed to be um, the end of March. March 26th, yeah. March 21st. Yeah, 26. it was supposed to be the end of March. So uh, as of now, it's postponed. Um, so so really, you know, now we, we, we think in a ways, you know, to maneuver. I think for us, you know, you've seen you've seen the trend with the with the DJs and the venues doing a lot socially, um, which we did some, but I think we kind of we took the time to just kind of more so uh, digress and 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 kind of 
restructure our plan, see what we're going to do next once once we get out of this. Because um, for me, I think the company that's going to stay afloat, the entrepreneurs that's going to stay afloat is the ones who adapted yeah, when yeah. when shit was going on. You know right. what I'm saying? So uh, for us, that's that's really what the talks be. All right, so 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 what's next? Like how we move forward? Um, and, um, you know, as far as the party that was postponed, it's definitely one coming. So, people, um, what, did sure. they get refunds, or how does that work? Or so, they, are they holding their tickets? Yeah, so shout out to the people, man. I think we probably only had, like, four or five people. Yeah, they've been refunds. really, like, oh, no. Nah, we was already, like, holy. plus, like, damn near plus, like, 150 tickets sold. And that was, like, two weeks, like, before the event even happened. Right. And it, for people that don't know, that might sound like a little bit, but Harrisburg is not an online ticket sale market. At it's all, a yeah. It's a market where people Everything walk up and buy door. tickets. So, selling 150 tickets is, like, damn near guarantee you an, a sellout, if you ain't know that, but... That's a big shit. Where was that party at? Where was that party at? And what was the name of that one? Uh, so this was going to be the Future versus Hendrix Day Party at Club XL. Shout out to Club XL, too, for giving us a shot. Or, so uh, that was gonna be our first time there. Yeah. 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 So what? This was gonna be party number four. 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 Okay. So party number one, rooftop crawl daddies. Yeah. Party number two, bridges, bridges. social club. Party That's number three. Hours. That was Bro- the Christopher. Christopher. Only Christopher, Christopher, Christopher we acknowledge. Only Christopher we acknowledge is the number two. Yeah. That was Columbus Day. Yeah, Columbus Day. And the number three was Black Friday. Self made three. So <laughs> then, then number four is Future versus Future Hendrix. Versus Hendrix. Yeah, so yeah, that just got stopped by the COVID. COVID for sure. Yeah. And that yeah. And like to be honest, like that fucked up a lot of momentum for us because we had something like some good shit brewing, and I mean it's crazy because we go from part three where that situation happened to us like having conversations where it's like you don't even want to do this shit no more. Yeah, like it, it, it kind of take the love from it because for us it's like yo we just want to create an environment for people to come have fun and vibe out, and we ain't really with with all the bullshit like. That's not what we on when we throwing parties and we doing business. So for that to slow the momentum down, that really hurt us a little bit. But I think this COVID shit, like, gave us a minute to step back and really reassess what we got going on. And like Jay was saying, like, it gave us a chance to kind of be, like, agile. Like, let's adapt to shit. Let's what we got going next. And shit. So we, was, it, is, was it competition in the city with parties at all? For us, no. Because I felt nah. like we was in a different lane. Yeah. Because night, nightlife and daylife don't really come. Like, we don't really got to. If you got a party from. 10 to 2, and our party from 4 to 9, we ain't competing for people. And I mean, yeah. there was definitely, even after the third one, you know, it was definitely people who had rumblings and social media and stuff like that. There were some people who had a lot to say, you know, just about the situation. But um, they definitely, there's some people who definitely tried to throw day parties and things like that. Yeah. Um, and of course, it's a trend that you're going to follow when you see success. Yeah. I mean, and that's not to down nobody. We love it. Like that's we want include we want to include everybody like we want the city to win. Yeah, I don't you know love mean? it. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't love it. Like I'm, I'm I mean, shout out to everybody getting money and doing what they want to do. But shit, like just just know like we want to be the best. Like I, oh, for we, sure, like we former athletes. Like we want to be the best at what we for do. Sure. So shit, if you hop into the day party lane, that's cool. Like we invite yeah. you in. We, but we, we not we no show punches. Love, Listen, we I'm the, I'm the one who told him though. I, I knew it was coming. I know yeah. I know when. Like when you when you start a trend somewhere, yeah, right. and it, w- rightfully so though, mm-hmm. they see money, they gonna try to get it. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, so after the first one, yeah. yeah, people people try to try to get in that lane. But I think the difference is, but do they know? Like, was it getting in the money? Say, is the I, money like, like that, so, or is, so is it like blatantly said there is no competition? I yeah, the, the money to to answer your question about the money, it, it depends on yeah. how you coming. Yeah. yeah, it depends on how you come in. It depends on what your sponsors is like. It depends on what your people is like. Yeah, it's your folks yeah. is re, if your yeah. folks is reposting and retweeting and, 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 and whatever yeah, that for Gullah. sure. DTLR, we yeah, love you. yeah, DTLR, formerly DL, Villa, formerly Sneaker Villa. Um, so y'all start learning what other ways to basically get money outside of just the people walking through the door. That's a fact. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, yeah. for us is big, man. Yeah, yeah. and we big. our social. It's, it's funny. Yeah, yeah, people think it's an art or a science. Yeah, like but this not. is the way we talk and act in our group chat on a day to day. So yeah. we just bring it to the people. So what do you say? Like a group chat was like, break that down to me. What's the group chat? Like, Who all in the group chat? And, I mean, on our how, iPhones, how's that work? In the iMessage group chat. Like really, I mean, with us, we all we all in the group chat together, right? Yeah. We always together anyway. Actually. But I think the group chat turned into more of like a business plan, like a yeah. business talk. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like like we 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 shoot the shit more in person. Yeah. And and then you know through the group chat we'll shoot the shit and all that but but it's but it's business talk. It's it's what we got going on, what we got going next, you yeah. know what I'm saying? What what trips we taking next so right. we can So it's just y'all for. Yeah. yeah, yeah so sure. And it's it's always a constant thought about how to just elevate, how to make this thing bigger cuz we yeah. it was nothing small for us. You know what I mean? We 
we see this thing going growing as big as absolutely possible. Like yeah. ain't no there's no ceiling for us. Yeah. It's like the beginning of the process. Let me yeah. ask y'all why y'all switching venues up so much? Like why why are y'all moving the venues around if there's no competition? Um I I'll speak to that. Um I think that the main reason for it is because a venue can get stale. Mm-hmm. Okay. So like you feel me? If it's a party going on at Joe's spot every day on Second Street, every Saturday on Second Street, what's going to happen is going to become the same people coming, the same crowd is going to turn into the same party repetitively over and over. All right. So for real, for real, like Bridges, like regardless of how the situation went, that was going to be our last time using them anyway. Because oh, it was, okay. we already seen like what the trend was becoming. Like yeah. from what from the first party to the second party, mm-hmm. we was like, all right, we continue down this, right. we're gonna turn into that. And this right. ain't what we're looking I like for. That. Sure. So like that was the main main reason for us maneuvering. Any amount of people. Yeah. You gotta yeah, talk about yeah, yeah, and we was getting too big for the venue. It was yeah, yeah, three we parties on the venue. We yeah, was big. Yeah, well yeah. we we was gonna fill that up. That was a yeah. that was a, the thought with the beginning. We, after our first party, we only had what what? Our first, our first. How one? many people? And on the rooftop, like the, the capacity was one sixty two. After was, our first one, we spoke with Excel because we know Excel didn't have too many mm-hmm. events, like well, for, like for us, us. You know what I'm saying? Us. So um, we were really like in, in talks with them after the first one. They wanted us to just hold it there originally, mm-hmm. but in our head we was like, "Let's hold up to twelve hundred. We don't got that yet. No, we don't got that yet." And, and then honestly, we're gonna be honest. The bag there took like the bag. We, if we would have mm-hmm. got Excel that early. It wouldn't have made. It would have made sense. It would have been a loss. All yeah, our loss. Yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying. Even though we're we're not pushing forward to dollar, but mm-hmm. we're not just going. We ain't out here just to yeah. lose bread. So out the whole vision was, yo, well, let's get our our fan base there mm-hmm. and get a name out there. Yeah. Then get the XL and then get to the bigger cities and stuff like that. So what's the future like? What's next for y'all? When the next party coming from day service? So uh, I know it was some tweets that rolled around that saying, <laughs> you feel me, June. <laughs> You feel me? So obviously, with us going to the green stage here, um, I live in Maryland, so we like damn near about to go to the green stage now. But up here, this happening also. So I mean, we 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 told the people June and something coming in June. Like we ain't gonna tell y'all exactly what it is, but something's coming in June for the people to come out and vibe with us. And this is gonna be our reintroduction. It's gonna be 100 percent free. People just kind of pop out. We just we, this is our reintroduction. Our, our like, mm-hmm. yo, we back. Just come vibe with us. And then from there, we ain't gonna stop. Like after after June happened, it's. It's on. It's, it's coming. It was it's up there because we in June right now. Now, yeah, no, yeah, nah, no. Bro. It's to a point, man. Where like, like you said, like we spoke on earlier when it came to the us having to take that break and then COVID hitting after it was like back to back. Like, damn, now our hands is tied. I mean, we can't really move how we want to. So like, when we when we go, like when it's green, like we not letting up because we know the people want it. Right. Like we ain't gonna lie. There's people in the street. People wherever we at. Anybody. Drive in the middle of the street, stop in the middle of the street. Hey, what's up? When y'all next date? When y'all next party? So it's there. Like, now nah, I means we got to give it to the people. Yeah. Oh, give, to- it, giving it to the people. And with us just starting out, we didn't know that a lot of people play hands and stuff in events. Sure. Like, shout out to the Bottle Girls from Bridges. For sure. And um, a lot of people that was involved with us. Because a lot of, we, we didn't just push it. Like, everybody, everybody pushed it. Yeah. Anybody that worked with us, they helped push it, honestly. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody else that helped us. Definitely got a lot of love from the. I was saying, a lot of people always question this, too, about, like, our like do we got a team or a street team? Right. It's legit. It's us, us four. four. That's right. it. Like, do y'all, y'all still do street promotions just straight up online? No, we no. do. Yeah. yeah, we do street promotion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's, that's more. Yeah. 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 He's yeah. the road runner. What's yeah. your, what's yeah. your, you'll see me out. I, I'll be out. Yeah. And that's yeah. a, that was another runner. thing. Like I'll be out in the public. Uh. Like um, my family well known in this area, so I'm out and about. But we was doing out in the street and also doing taglines. Like our first one was you know the vibes. I had a bunch of different women do um mm. little ten like two second videos for us, and I collect I, I combined all of them. Yeah. And I had a lot of chicks saying, you know the vibes, a lot of them. Yeah. yeah. People mm-hmm. grabbed on to it. A lot of people grabbed on to it. And I think the second one was like, um, we not done yet. A lot of people grabbed on to that. It's like certain stuff, you got to figure out certain stuff just to grab people's attention. Mm-hmm. Sure. So um, so we can't tell the date of the next part. It's a secret. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we already, yeah. we in the June right now. Y'all talking, y'all got something coming. Yeah. Yeah. There's going to be a, a date. And we so, so this is going to be big when y'all pop off then. Well, I think I think the first one I think I think what we might do is something more of a private invite type of joint because mm-hmm. of the restrictions mm-hmm. and, and people's concern with, the, with with everything going on. Then after that is like the the big one, right? 
Yeah. I'm about to say he gave out keys. All right. So, yeah. I'm about to say if, if, he, 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 he yeah, I'm about to say if he dropping jewels, then he, he dropping, dropping jewels. So. Yeah. So our first drink back, you feel me? Just expect that to be kind of a private event. Um, yeah. Just something for like a select few people to come out, feel, feel what we got going on, and kind of just get reacclimated to kind of you feel me? Boom. Yeah. Like this is what they got going. More of a yeah. kickback type salad vibe. Just come through. Um, we gonna invite you. you. Feel me? Just pretty vibes through. Some mm. good dudes through. Some good po- like positive people in the community that's gonna be able to like promote us in the right way. Yeah. So we are gonna do that first, and then from there, it's up. Cause at this yeah. point, <laughs> yeah. At yeah, this point, we we it. gotta we gotta still like stay within the restrictions of the state and everything like that. So I mean, just off the top of my head, I know that when we do go green, which not happening yet, like they didn't say it yet, it's only a two hundred fifty people max at a at a large gathering. So, like, we have to still play that role. But then there's other counties, like, that we can work in. I mean, it's not right. it's not going to be nothing that's going to really stop us from putting our name and still staying relevant. It's just, we just, I just, you know, we just got to stay within those guidelines regardless because people's not even going to let us, like, strong arm them or do nothing different. You know right. I mean, we, we have to follow those. Ain't nothing we can do but I guarantee you, when we hit a sale, it's a wrap. For sure. I guarantee you, when we no hit a sale, doubt. it's different. It's going to be different. When everything is lifted, Excel is going up. And it's just being relevant, staying relevant. Oh, yeah, we definitely been, I know, like me and Stan, you know what I mean, been doing those, uh, you know, those artist battles on IG. We definitely appreciate, you know, the views and the, um, the feedback we get from that. Yeah. Just because me and Stan, you know what I mean, we all enjoy music. They love music. I, I really nah, I these to, dudes, yeah. these dudes, Stan and, and, and Gleesh, their love for music different. That's why I yeah. really was happy that we came down here too. Yeah, they love for music. Their eye for music, their ear for music is crazy. And I've been telling these dudes like, Y'all even got though some we be artists, like, listen, who got the artists? I know somebody <laughs> got an artist. Who got <laughs> the artist? Say, I'm working with some, some with somebody, man. Shout out to Drew Tyrell. Yeah, uh, he been staying down, man. He ain't dropping up since like 2017, but. He really been in the, in the studio, kind of getting right, perfecting his craft, bro. And when he do come, it's gonna be something tough. Yeah, so yeah shout out to Drew Tyrell. I gotta get him up in pro sound. Nah, you know for sure. Get that, sure. Get that. That's what I want to say too, right with there. the with the people asking for artists and all of that. Yeah, just be patient. For like, sure. like we got the yeah, we got like we got the blueprint. Yeah. We got enough connections. Like, yeah. just just be patient with that. I yeah, we're we gonna so y'all, so y'all, so y'all. So let me ask y'all who who actually does the DJing. Yeah. So Nobody we get did. yeah. So we so so okay. So with with us, you know, like I spoke to earlier, right? All of us been played Chicago, Miami, Canada, whatever. We didn't been to day like parties. About traveling, when y'all be hitting oh, them. It's beautiful. We love it. I mean, it, every <laughs> aspect of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so bad. I'm a, I'm a, like. I understand. I ain't been nowhere, you know, growing up. Like, you know what I'm saying. So, so now I, I feel like traveling is the key to learning. You know what I'm saying. So I think we all on that. So I just think naturally, you know, we gravitated towards it. But with us seeing these places, right? We know a lot. Some of the people in the city never seen that, right? So, so I think, I think to do them justice, let's bring some DJs in that really do this like right. that really share that really know that vision so so we got a lot of the we really honestly brought like the top three djs from philly sure. here like yeah. people don't even like they my guys and, right. and like i don't, and i love they a lot of djs in philly going, though, yeah. the girls be lit off yeah. of it so then they shout out to dj caution yeah. shout out to dj rl um and shout out to dj a boogie man they all came through Ooh, and got that shit turned yeah. yeah hey so let me ask you how does um like traveling everything how does that influence basically the day parties um honestly it influences everything um it opens our eyes up towards um um how we should go about things um the music like the music like the, mm-hmm. the dj was the biggest thing yeah. um the look um because it was a lot of spots that was reaching out to us but aesthetically it didn't look right, yeah. right. so we that's what we really was going for it's always been the look like in like we, we parted in canada miami We've seen different areas of how people react to different stuff. So I think that's another thing um, with us traveling. We travel off the four of us, or it'd be six of us at a time. We was in Miami and we, what, 17, 18? Yeah. yeah. Like, we've been traveling for a while as, as homies. Mm-hmm. So as homies, we're like, yo, we having a good time. We come from a small town. Ta- Harrisburg, a small town. Mm-hmm. This is a small town. Like, yeah, yeah. We went to Miami for the first time. We had just turned 21. Oh, we was I thought I'd yeah. seen the world. When Literally. I like, yeah. yeah that Literally. South Beach. We thought South Beach was like, it. Sports and shit like that. Yeah. yeah. We only see much. So, like, yeah. having a chance to go out and see that was big. And then 
our vision, like the kind of that conversation, that initial conversation was like, then how do we bring that to the city? Yeah, facts. So like that's another reason why we switch up venues because we don't want to be somewhere that everybody already been in and seen our lots because right. they kind of get burnt out. Right. So we want to bring you to somewhere different that kind of look like something different, a different vibe. Right. Like that rooftop vibe, no. From what I've known, I don't know anybody that ever parted up there. So when they went up there, that was something completely different, something new for yeah. them. And there and is then, another rooftop vibe coming for sure. Yeah, y'all yeah. fuck with the rooftop, yeah. rooftop vibe. But y'all gonna be outside when y'all had Excel because I know they kind of inside outside sort of set up, right? We was go ahead, go ahead, bro. Now we was gonna use um we was gonna use their outside patio too. Okay. Um, so we was gonna really use their whole main space with the stage and all that. Well, mm-hmm. we we will use that. But we're going to use the outside, too. Um, we got, like, plans for that. Yeah. A little vibe out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. the music going to be loud enough. Yeah, yeah all that type of... That's another reason. In the city, if you go to Philly, you go to Philly, Reading. Mm. They got hookah in, in, in the simple lounges or restaurants. We don't yeah. got that in Harrisburg. We really want that. Ladies love hookah. Yeah. Men, men love hookah, too. I ain't going to say that because I, I, I keep a hookah with me at all times. Yeah. Because keep it packed. I yeah. know a couple of my customers and came in the in the studio I'm and they've been like, hookah, right? man, you need that hookah zinger. That's a fact. It's the vibe. No, that's a, that's a yeah, fact. It's yeah. the yeah. Hookah yeah. connoisseur yeah. keychain. Yeah. I was saying, speaking to the hookah, man, whenever we do come back, we're going to have uh, you feel me, a hookah, official hookah vendor come through and he's going to get y'all set right, man. Shout out to uh, my man Ted down in Chester. He's going to slide up here and he's going to get us right with the hookah. Yeah, Speak on that, too, like when you was talking about the artists and everything. You know, like the day parties is just a beginning for us. You know, day service entertainment is definitely a brand, and we haven't really tapped into everything that we possibly can yet just because we're still starting. Right. But it's definitely a brand, and we're definitely going to be real versatile and just bring in different, different, you know, different things to whatever we try and do. You know yeah, I mean? man. That's good, man. Yeah. So, um, man, we want to thank y'all for stopping by Pro Sound Radio, man. Y'all got any shout outs? Shout out to our followers. Like for real. Shout out to all of our followers on IG. He man. wouldn't yeah, be yeah, nothing, you know what I mean, without the reposts, the, the laughs, all the emojis, like all the energy we put in all that, we wouldn't really be here without the people actually coming out to show love, to support, buying tickets, you know, selling out five hundred people coming to a venue that only allowed three hundred, you know, that or eight hundred. It was we just appreciate all the love that we getting out there. I do I do want to take a time to, to officially shout out uh, our DJs. Yeah. Caution, A Boogie and RL because you know they 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 hit the turnpike for us. You know what I'm saying? They came down here when really like they like Harrisburg like, you know what I'm saying? But they but they did it off a of strength of our of our relationship with them. Um and you know these are guys I work with a lot, you know what I'm saying, in the city. Um so you know I, I do want to shout out to Caution uh who did the first joint, A Boogie who did the second one. And then RL who did the third one, and, and we'll bring them all back, and we'll bring other ones too from from other cities as well. So, and, and that was a message from the official day service president. That is a fact. Bro, uh-huh. Shout out all the DJs <laughs> doing their thing, no, man. Shout out to all of them. All nah, right. Shout out to the city, the city too, man. Right. DJ uh, yeah. DJ Reese, DJ um, Big uh, Mike, Big Mike for Bino. sure. Showtime, Bino. Showtime for Showtime. sure. Shout out to the DJs. They all show love. And they definitely one, all show. And love. that's one thing too. We we not just doing it outside the city with it. We really want our DJs in the city. Yeah. How y'all feel about collabing with other people in the city? That's exactly what we're trying to do. Like, yeah. especially like with artists and, and certain things like that, where um, people are um, like people are asking like, "Yo, can can I do a song here? Or can I play my song here?" Yeah. We definitely want to get into that. We we definitely yeah. trying to reach in the point where if we get in getting our name out there, we want somebody else's name to get out here so they can their name can buzz too. Right. Like um, the DJs too. We want them. So who the artists got to get in touch with? Because I know all them niggas. Y'all is y'all party who tell me who they got to get in touch with who they, who they hit up so they get their shit played up in the joint. So the first thing is feel me you want right here day service come on down pro get you, this you, shit going down we gonna tell who gonna get y'all lit in the club yeah no nah, nah, so now nah, first first uh like going back to collab and then we get, get like fast forward to artists but going back to collab and like we cool with that but number one like. If, if we don't feel your shit we not gonna yeah. collab with you and it's not a it's not a slight to nobody but like. Different, so different it's still got you saying it's, it's still a check mark. It got to be official. Like, got, we, we're not gonna work, mark. We're not gonna work well, with we everybody. With Pro sound because we know yeah. it ain't official. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's right. Sure. We wouldn't so. be here if you wasn't. You know yeah. Yeah. Like, we not Nelson Mandela, so we not working. We not MLK. Like we ain't working with everybody just because. All this, I'm all about that shit. You you gotta get the stamp. That shit, that shit might your shit might not make it through. There's no that's what's up. When you fucking with day service, and you try to get your shit going, it might not make it through. For sure. If you're if you're 
ring off in day service, then you yeah. know what's up. All yeah, right, sure. But we yeah, definitely support Everybody. all artists. Like, even right now with us doing the Instagram things, first songs we be playing is somebody from the city. Yeah. Always. Oh, yeah. When we do IG Lives, we, we just throw somebody from the city on. At yeah. Tell us about the IG Live real quick. So, the IG Live, it kind of just was a, our own spinoff for the Versus TV shit that Swiss Beats yeah. and Timberland be doing. Sure. It was just like us with us like having that ear for music and that love for music. Like this, it was a chance for us to get on there, keep people engaged with us, and tap in with us and kind of vibe, little party vibe. What's the, the most songs. people y'all had on the live? Um, shit, I know after we usually get off, it's like damn, like three hundred twenty six people tapped in, <laughs> shit like that. Yeah, I'm so, I mean, that motherfucker. I'm about saying we not we not yeah, nobody, shit. but like we we thankful for everybody to do tap in and do yeah. listen. So, but shit, now y'all doing that. y'all thing. Yeah, so y'all putting it together, yeah. and it's like you still like you say I'm, we went from now we we stuck in the crib, and you yeah. know what I'm saying y'all party promoter was like, well damn, we gonna get the party going this way. Sure. Facts and like, shout out to the DJs that spun on our live too. Yeah. DJ yeah. Bounce God, right. DJ uh, Big Caution, Big Mike slide on there. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the DJ that got on Spun and tried to have a little yeah, day service uh, day party for the IG well, Live. We had four of them joints so far. Yeah, yeah. See, and that's another. Oh, that's another thing. Um, we really um, look forward to like look in the, in the eyes of like the Duce Palooza dude. Shout out to them. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Like that was our our goal. How they're going from state to state. No one knows they go from state to state, city to city, smash parties. Um, Duce Palooza. They started with Henny's Palooza, but we really eyed them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them. Shout out to anybody yeah. who ever they gave us a up. shot or or rock with us. We we support you and we yeah. They showed out the Barclays. Yeah, that yeah, was, right. that was that's the and it blueprint. was nothing but a part. Yeah, they started from the basement to the Barclays. The Barclays. That's, that's crazy. They went up. That's the that's yeah. that's the end all be all, if not bigger than that. They and festivals and all that. Yeah. Know what I mean, that's oh, definitely yeah. where we that's on the goal list, you know what I mean? That's definitely it, you know what I mean? You already know, man. I appreciate y'all. Exactly. For sure, man. You Thanks for having us. Yeah. I mean, any day service inquiries, you hit up Fitz on the gram, Twitter. You know, he the president. <laughs> hit me up, you know. Hit, 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 hit me up. Fitz not going to answer. Hit me up. Definitely not answer. I'm looking Cheers. to the camera right now. <laughs> definitely not answer. You Cheers, know my vibe. All bookings. <laughs> all bookings. Anybody who wants to do a walk. Shout through. out to Pro Sound Studios. Shout out to Pro for the, for the interview. Thanks for having Official. us. For sure. We, we appreciate, appreciate you. Appreciate y'all y'all appreciate niggas you. got some good energy, man. Appreciate like you know, working together and it's still like it's a four piece, so that's good, yeah. man. Like the the more the better, like and mm-hmm. the faster you're gonna get there quicker. So right. like, you know what I'm saying? Keep that energy, man. Straight up. Appreciate, man. appreciate that. Yeah.